if you feel stuck or you just don't know what to do or you don't know how to progress to the next level this is definitely the video for you in this video i'm going to be talking to you about how you can level up and i know that the word or the term leveling up has so many different meanings and we use it a lot in this video when i say level up or leveling up i mean moving from point a to point b in terms of your personal growth and development and so if you're interested in growth self-love self-care self-preservation this is definitely the channel for you make sure you hit the subscribe button in order to see all of the other videos that i'll be sharing on this channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is zarina and on this channel i share a lot of self-improvement tips to help you become the best version of yourself as i also work to become the best version of myself now without wasting much time let's go to the seven things that you can do practically to level up it does not matter where you're watching this video from or where you are in your life or which time of year you're watching this video i am positive that if you implement the steps that i'm sharing with you you will definitely see some progress in your life the first thing that i really want you to pay attention to is that you are worth it if you've watched any of my other videos you know that this is something that i tend to advocate a lot and that is true because whatever you want to achieve you cannot get it and you cannot reach those ambitions until you think or you believe that you deserve them so the first thing you ought to know is that believe in yourself tell yourself you're worth it give yourself positive words, words of affirmations i do know that sometimes it's difficult depending on our background depending on how people the things people have said to us but you should know you should remember that if someone else deserves it then you also deserve it if someone else is worthy you are worthy if someone else has been able to achieve it you are, uh, are worthy of, of getting that as well so my point is in order to be able to achieve and level up the very first thing is to do the work on yourself and believe that you deserve the personal growth you deserve um, the the achievements you deserve all the positive things that you want to achieve so think about it tell yourself that you are worth it one of the things that you can do is to listen to words of affirmation um so even on youtube you find lots of different affirmations affirmations for self-love affirmations for positivity affirmations for black women affirmations for riches so just tell yourself all the good things tell yourself positive things be positive trust in the process trust in yourself know that you deserve it and then you can do the rest of the work if you're in that mental frame so now that we have that out of the way let's talk about specific things I know that goal setting might sound like a cliche something that you've probably heard over and over and over again but have you ever wondered if you would ever be able to achieve something if you do not know what you are working towards and that is why it's important for you to have a goal it might seem blurry and I have had people who would say um, I don't even know when I look at the future when I look into the future I'm not really sure what I'll be doing or what it is that I want to achieve I have been there a lot of times I am not really sure about my path I have a, a, a general idea of where I want to be or some of the things that I want to do but sometimes the path is not really clear what you can do in this case is to set immediate goals or goals that are short-term so in the first three months what I what do I want to achieve in the next six months what do I want to achieve and how is this relevant to my personal growth if you are able to identify goals whether long-term or short-term goals write them down there is power in writing every single goal of mine that I have been able to achieve is something that I have written down each time that I have something and then I just end up not writing it down it just really difficult for me to even remember in some cases but just write whatever it is that you want to achieve down right and when you write it down you can break it into weekly goals monthly goals and that is how you can achieve the things that you want to achieve remember like i said leveling up means moving from point a to point b the crux of leveling up is to make a significant change 
remember or pay attention i did not say make a drastic change i said make a significant change so if you're able to do something that is significant in your um in your life it doesn't have to be drastic like i said it can be significant but you can start with small steps so if you want to level up make sure you have goals write them down and start working towards them this third point means so much to me and i just really thought about when i first started doing youtube in 2017 2018 and i was writing this and I was in my mid 20s at 20s at the time and I did write a lot and even when I started my website I wrote a lot about eliminating limiting beliefs this is something that is really important eliminate limiting beliefs limiting beliefs could be the things that you've told yourself about yourself or the things that people have told you about yourself or the things that you have told yourself about that goal you want to achieve and limiting beliefs mostly are there to stop you from reaching your fullest potential to stop you from getting to a point where you would be able to achieve what you want to achieve think about it this way will your highest self have those limited beliefs and when I say your highest self I mean the greatest version of yourself rational thinking who is very um, who has very good positive or who has very positive judgment and who is able to make really good decisions for you would your highest self have those limiting beliefs limiting beliefs are just there to destroy us limiting beliefs are there to stop us from doing things if you have these limiting beliefs you have to fight them regardless of what it is just tell yourself that I know I will do it with my hands shaking. I will do it anyway. And that is how personally I have gotten through a lot of things. And I remember even sometimes um, at uni where we had to do presentations, just small things like that. I would still feel like, okay, I'm still nervous, but I would still volunteer to do it on behalf of the group. And that is me feeling the fear and doing it anyway. Limiting beliefs can come from all over the place. It can be f even from the internet. It can be from your family members. It can be from your friends. It can be from places that, or people that you even trust, that you think they tell you things that would encourage you. But limiting beliefs can be from any place. So if you have your own self-worth, if you have your goals, then you make sure that whatever it is, those limiting beliefs are, you stop them but you have to identify them as limiting beliefs to help you identify limiting beliefs anything that tells you that no you cannot no or you cannot or what if it's a limiting belief so any of these things when it comes to your goals or your dreams or your aspirations any of these things when you think about them as a, a limiting belief the next point is to cut out the junk is to make sacrifices if you're doing the same things hanging with the same people having the same conversations doing the same routines and just expecting different outcomes that is really not possible so you have to make sacrifices are you cutting down on the number of hours that you spend watching movies are you going to have a sleep routine or are you going to have a bedtime routine are you going to stop hanging out with certain people are you going to stop engaging in certain conversations on that note of getting yourself out of your comfort zone a friend of mine said something that i found really profound he said that when you tell people to get out of your their comfort zone you could make it sound like it's something scary that is big and huge and difficult to do but the idea is to encourage people to get uncomfortable enough to be comfortable for instance if you want to start taking cold showers and all your life you've been taking hot showers and you want to start taking cold showers you can't wake up one morning and just start taking a cold shower that is going to be hard first of all your mind is going to find it really difficult to do to convince you to do and to open that cold tap or your body is just gonna give up on you or make it difficult for you to do but what you can do instead is to turn the hot water from hot to lukewarm hot warm lukewarm and then cold and that is getting uncomfortable enough to be comfortable and that makes a lot of sense to me so sometimes it's not always about making a swift change but it's about doing the little things that will help you get what you want to achieve so cut out the junk 
make sacrifices. Junk food is nice. It's tasty. It is tasty. But is it helpful? Is it healthy? So you have to make some sacrifices and you can make slow uh, changes. So for instance, you're going to start eating if you buy maybe if you have a burger four times in a week on the regular you can start having it three times and then twice and then once and you just say just making sacrifices making changes and cutting out the junk this fifth point is absolutely important it's absolutely important i'm going to talk about investing in yourself investing in yourself and that is investing in a skill investing in knowledge investing in um opportunities that would help you grow so if you find that you have uh, a not a skill or you want to get a skill it's about time that you start saving to be able to be able to, to afford for training the internet is a great 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 resource so if you want to use the internet you can use the internet to find information you can use the internet to even get free training resources that would help you learn things a lot of people have learned how to bake have learned how to sew have learned how to paint have learned how to code using the internet and that is why it's important that you invest and if you're using the internet you invest in your time you invest in a little money paying for your data or your mobile network but if you have that skill it's relevant because when you go to for instance when you go for a job interview the most important thing is that you have the skill and you're able to give them value and it's not always about um, where you learn whether you was an, was an Ivy League University or not so if you have the skills let's look at all of the people who have started these huge companies um, from Mark Zuckerberg to Steve Jobs and I'm sure I'll bore you with all of these names because these are stories you have heard a lot of times so these people use their skills it's not always it isn't always about formal education but it's about where you get the skills and how you're able to use those skills to do something for instance when i was starting my website in 2018 i did everything by myself um and created a content so bought the domain name put it together bought a theme designed it created the images wrote all of the stories or uh, articles and that was just me being passionate about it but i had to learn how to do this from scratch online i did not take any crash course or any course at all on how to put a web page or a website together and this website has been really useful not only as a form of expression but also as evidence of what i can do so if someone is going to employ me i look tell them that hey look i have this website and i've been writing on this website i created this website i manage a website and that's how I have been able to use one content management system although I've used other content management systems so the long and short of it is that invest in a scale invest in a scale if you don't have money the time that you spend aimlessly like they say aimlessly scrolling on social media is time that can be spent learning something new also if there are conferences workshops training sessions that you would like to attend or you know that would be useful to you do them take them if you can afford them and then learn number six is to prioritize self-care i love talking about self-care i don't know maybe it's just because it's about it's something that a lot of us don't a lot of us say in in theory but don't do in practice whether it's from this physical self-care which is taking care of yourself making sure your hygiene is on point making sure that you wear the right clothes for the right occasion making sure that you wear the right clothes for your for your body type or just working out so one of the things that i do currently i am yet to join a gym but one thing that i do now is to work out at home and i really do enjoy working out at home um so just do things that would help you take care of yourself even if you don't have the money at the moment but you can still take care of yourself emotional self-care is about um making sure that you're there for yourself only go to spaces where you feel like your vibration or your energy is happy if you get what i mean so there are certain places that you go and that your instincts like you just don't your spirit just doesn't align there are people that when you're with you feel like you don't grow you feel like whatever you're doing does not it doesn't serve you, you it's important that you 
cut out those relationships or limit the time that you spend with those people so self-care is a big thing just just take care of yourself that's what i'm gonna say and if you want to level up you want to be here you want to be healthy mentally and emotionally and physically in order to be able to do all of the other things that i have spoken about the last point on how to level up is to make sure that you form the right relationships network 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 it is important to form connections with people who will pour into you people who will be there to help you with information people who would probably recommend you people who would share um skills or teach you a new skill or just people who would lift your spirits networking is really really important because a lot of the opportunities personally that i have gotten from um, a lot of internships and training opportunities are opportunities that have been i have gotten from people that i know so it's a good time for you to start meeting new people establishing new relationships building new relationships if you have to go to um events like maybe a conference or a seminar or even if it's just a, a, a theater these are places in which you can meet people these days we also have ways in which you can build online relationships it's important to network if you have built relationships with people you know how important this is one thing people usually forget when they're talking about networking is that you're not only there to take you're also there to give and share and provide value to the people that you network with so in order to level up your circle definitely needs to change you don't have to be around the same people doing the same boring stuff not growing if your network your current network pours into you and gives you value that's beautiful expand your network meet new people build new relationships and learn new things and that is really good if you want to grow people have gotten jobs just by networking people have gotten gigs by networking and people have learned new skills by networking so this is a great tool for you if you want to level up i hope this has been useful thank you so much for watching till the end if you have not subscribed yet don't forget to join the family by hitting the subscribe button in order to see all of the useful videos i will be sharing you can also leave me a comment in the comment section below and i'll be excited to read them and respond if you haven't liked the video please like it because when you do youtube will suggest it to a lot more people to see and take the value out of it lots of love i wish you the very best in your level up journey Bye bye